Today, we are going to discuss about the experiment design of inverting and non-inverting amplifier using 741 operational amplifier. Okay, this is this is 741 op amp. It has uh, totally eight terminals. Uh, uh, in this uh, diagram is pin description of 741 IC. First pin is offset null, second one is inverting, third one is non-inverting, fourth one is uh, negative power supply, fifth one is offset, sixth pin is output, uh, seventh pin is positive power supply, eighth pin is uh, NC not connected. Okay, in this in this uh, I see how to identify uh, which is first pin, maybe this one or if I change this this one. Okay, how to identify means in this I C he I C manufactures a noted one dot on first pin. Yeah, in this pin description, this dot is there. In this also, this dot is there. That is first pin. One, first, second, third, fourth, then fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. This is the identification of a pins of uh, IC. Now today, uh, first part is uh, I am going to uh, discuss about inverting amplifier. So this is. Uh, inverting amplifier circuit diagram. This is op amp. We need one kilo ohm resistor, and we need another ten kilo ohm resistor. Uh, by these three, we can do the experiment of uh, inverting amplifier. Now I will show. This is same for an op amp. This is one kilo ohm resistor, and this one is third one is ten kilo ohm resistor. Uh, I can I will connect uh, on breadboard. Insertion of uh, 741 IC is very important before you are doing any experiment. If any person, if anyone connect like this means it is wrong connection. Why? Because 1, 2, 3, 4 are short. The correct method is correct method is connecting like this. It is correct to uh, insertion of uh, 741 IC. Now, uh, I will connect. I need 1 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor color code is brown, black, red. I connect to the second pin. Second pin Second pin I keep somewhere here. This is 1 kilo ohm resistor and I am taking 10 kilo ohm resistor. 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected in between second pin and sixth pin. Yeah, this is first pin, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So, 10 kilo ohm resistor e is connected in between second pin and sixth pin. Yes, I am connecting here and uh, third pin goes to ground, third pin goes to ground, 1, 2, 3, third pin. I am connecting all grounds to in negative here in breadboard positive minus negative is there. I am connecting all uh, ground to the negative wire. Yes. After that, I will uh, connect uh, positive power supply and negative power supply. Positive power supply is seventh pin. Okay, here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seventh pin. Seventh pin is positive power supply. Here, here in this uh, breadboard, uh, in this board, NILV is 2 plus board. Here, plus 5 volts. Uh, then ground minus 15 volts and above that one is 
plus 15 volts. Now, I am connecting this to plus 15 volts minus 5 ground minus 15, this is positive plus 15 volts and negative wire goes to the ground, negative wire goes to ground. Here ground is there, here this ground connected to the minus. Okay. Now, after that I will connect to the negative power supply, negative power supply wire is uh, fourth pin, fourth pin is negative power supply, here this is negative power supply and he, in this uh, minus wire is common to both negative power supply and positive power supply. After that I will uh, after that I will apply input signal uh, to the second pin with respect to ground. I am selecting uh, 1 volt with uh, frequency 1 kilo h. I apply to the second pin with respect to ground and after that I will check the output voltage uh, uh, inverting amplifier. So, inverting amplifier means uh, it amplifies and inverts. For example, if I gave the signal uh, 1 volt, this is input signal. In this output signal, it shifts 180 degrees. Yes, this is input signal, this is output signal. In this output, not only phase shift only, it amplifies also, we will observe in practically. In this NI Elvis 2 plus board, this one is function generator, uh, BNC cable and uh, this is channel 0, this is channel 1. Okay. Input signal I connected to the at uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor, 1 kilo ohm resistor here is there with respect to ground. After that channel, channel 0 is I am connecting at input signal only for seeing the phase shift same uh, at 1 kilo ohm resistor with respect to it goes to ground. Then third channel 1 cable I am connecting at uh, output op amp sixth pin. sixth pin with respect to ground. Okay. After that, I am switch on NILVIS board. Power on. In this NILVIS instrument launcher, I need function generator and oscilloscope. Now, I am taking function generator. Yes, here I, I take, I took function generator and oscilloscope. Now, I am giving input signal uh, 1 kilo h, 1 volt peak to peak amplitude. Okay. Run after that, I am enabling after connecting all the circuits, I am uh, seeing the output here this is channel 1, this is this is channel 0, this is channel 1. In channel 0, it, it is green color, it is input. This input voltage is 
1 volt output we are seeing in uh, channel 1 output I will I will show only output here this uh, output is 9.548 volts around uh, 10 volts but input is we gave 1 volt only just I will show one uh, input only yes this is input 1 volt around 976.469 millivolts around 1 volt but in output we are seeing 10 volts with inverting yes see here uh, this is negative but uh, output is positive like for example if you take this this cycle this is positive blue blue is negative it is amplifying and inverting so this is the first part we are seeing up to here uh, in op amp we uh, we see the first part is inverting amplifier now second part i will connect the next circuit that is uh, non inverting amplifier okay in uh, in second uh, section we are going to discuss about the non inverting amplifier in previously we see uh, when we give the input signal uh, in previous section output is amplifying and inverting but in this case non inverting amplifier we are giving the same uh, like same as uh, in a previous case we gave 1 1 volt uh, with 1 kilo h frequency now uh, we are uh, in output we are uh, we will uh, observe the uh, without phase shift and amplifying in non inverting amplifier we will see the amplifying of the signal without inverting the same phase shift okay i connected in this circuit i change i connected according to this circuit i connected in this uh, uh, bread on, on this breadboard now we are going to see in the output okay in this i am stop stop here i am okay in this uh, output in CRO in this output channel 0 channel 1 channel 0 is 1 volt around uh, yes 1 volt but output is here we are observing 11.11 11.11 volts and here we are observing the without change phase shift that is non inverting amplifier we are giving 1 volt 1 kilo h but in output we are uh, by using this uh, 741 op amp we are observing 11.11 volts with the same frequency oh, okay by using these uh, values we can calculate the uh, uh, tabular forms now we know v naught in two cases uh, around 10 input is 1 gain is 10 in the same manner in non inverting also we will uh, measure in the non inverting non inverting uh, input is 1 volt gain formula is v naught by v in v naught is 11.11 volt now i am v naught is 11 v in is 1 so the gain is 11 in theoretical also we will uh, uh, theoretically also uh, we measure we will find the v naught here v, v i is formula is v i into 1 plus r f by r in 1 plus r f is feedback resistance here in the two cases in two cases also this in between 2 and 6th pin is RF 10 kilo ohm resistor. So, here in the calculations uh, RF is 10 K by 
R n is 1 k by substituting 9.54 volts is a theoretical. We also uh, practical also we get, we get the 9.54 volts. Thank you.